Oh, hello fellow prop builders and possibly some Red Dwarf fans. Um, this is my interpretation of a scatter from the TV series Red Dwarf. Um, so I've tried to model it from Season 1 scatters, um, specifically the one that was in Episode 5 which was called Confidence and Paranoia. Um, this is the scatter that Rumour called Stabbins. So it's been modelled in Fusion 360 from some screenshots and some photos that I found online. I couldn't find any blueprints or anything like that so all the measurements have been a little bit of a guess. I've just been working on some known sizes like the aluminium tube. Um, so it's 3D printed except for the aluminium next section. So we'll just go through a couple of the, the things this scatter can do. So we've got an opening eye that illuminates, head nods and the head tilts. And the uh, claws opened and closed. I, I guess they're claws, I couldn't find any reference to what they're called. Um, all those uh, actions are controlled by standard radar control servos. The uh, next section is done by two 12 volt actuators. The lower next section is a bigger actuator and the uh, upper next section is done by a smaller actuator and that's assisted by a bungee cord. Um, the original prop had that bungee cord so I'm assuming the original prop people had some issues with uh, the small actuator lifting that weight, as I did. The neck also rotates, so that's a lazy Susan and a standard hobby servo. Um, so, a little bit more of the scutter just uh, driving around. So, you'll notice that the scutter's got a, a syringe in its claw, for want of a better word. Um, so in the episode five, Stabbins the scutter um, has a syringe and uh, he drops the, the syringe. So I'm just trying to um, emulate that here. Uh, yep, the syringe dropped okay, so happy with that. So the, the drive system for the scatter is uh, two 12 volt DC geared motors, uh, brush motors, um, and they're driven independently from two brush electronic speed control. Um, the whole thing is controlled from a standard model aircraft radar control transmitter. Uh, I use FreeSky, but then anyone could, any uh, transmitter would work. Um, so the two motors are driven independently, so if I veer in the, the signal to either motor, they'll speed up or slow down, and that's what gives you the turn in action. The motors are on the front, and there's two casters on, two swivel casters on the back. So that's what gives you um, the turning. Um, I've got this steering set to its most sensitive, so... Um, it does zoom around a little bit. Um, I have a three settings on the transmitter so I can change. So um, just to help it drive in a straight line a, bit, a little bit better. Casters sometimes don't want it to drive in a straight line, but um, it's maneuverable, uh, very much like the original prop. So here's some uh, still photos of what's under the, the body. So um, right hand side red blocks are what hold the casters. Black box in the middle there is a 12 volt 10 amp hour gel cell battery. You can see the turntable there in the middle that swivels head. So here's the two geared DC motors and the uh, scooter wheels. Small black boxes next to them are the electronic speed control. Here's the uh, radar control receiver and uh, I'm using the S bus. 16 channel converter just to uh, get that so all the servos 
come from uh, straight off the wrist, that receiver and uh, two signals go to the Arduino that drive the uh, 12 volt actuators. So this is with the body on. Um, as you can see the top of the turntable, there's four bearings there that help stabilise it. Uh, the big thing at the front is the uh, large actuator that controls the lower neck section. There's some uh, magnets there that help hold the, the uh, helmet on. So, um, just for fun, compared it against the uh, K9 that I've got. And uh, they're pretty close to size. I'm guessing the studios did it that way because that's what fitted in the studios. Um, if you want more details, I've got a couple, uh, three other videos there that just describe the the build. Um, so hop on over to my channel there and have a look. Uh, I do want to uh, post all the STL files and all that sort of thing when I get them sorted out. Um, I'll put those in a link in the description uh, when I can find a site where to store them and uh, give access to them. But uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you later on.